It's very, very painful. Ogubona muntu eloke raunda ndaonye. Eloke raunda ndaonye. Especially if umunte se no crest to chase him. I've got it. Bepe ama keke. Bapa ke chegi ili abona nje. Baza ame bon. You are dealing with so many things. But the truth is. And uchesu ngenlela. Ema ngalisayo. Simtande nga pezu wopila itself. Then I can test me against the sins. You go back to the knowing that you are perfected by Him, and also we want our radiation, our light to radiate Him. Even when we haven't said anything, people will see in our action. We'll talk to people and tell them that our God and I know my Redeemer lives. They will know that we know that our Redeemer lives. Our conduct will speak for Jesus. Uh, the way we speak will reflect they will actually people will feel the love of Jesus the truth is there are people who will be irritated by your light but there are people who will feel. you know I love Jesus so much when he's on the cross and he's just experiencing the journey of being crucified on the cross so see, he was concentrating again maybe he was feeling the pain that he was feeling and then the, the criminals are talking beside him but when and he was not engaging with the vehicle I mean we, we he was not engaging with quick conversation yeah because he was focused even no longer but when the other criminal of which i called him a good criminal at that time when he speaks and he say remember me lord in your kingdom and then just that is where now you are inviting me to come into your territory maybe this is what we need to do let us live our life and let our light shine and be the channel of peace here on earth but at the same time when people invite us sing i impose it bantu sing about just because they have not received to Jesus Christ. We don't hear God shouting at the top of his voice from heaven. Sometimes as it's in other words, we are so angry at the point of being like those people, or even worse than those people we are trying to correct. We are on the flames of fire. We are like or drag or yabon siki po ivemon jengo njenge nyoga but siti iban right but sabantu sibafagum lilo sibafaga upoison siti kot iban right 
doesn't make sense but people will feel over on the way to when we live our life and let our light shine and we love even when bona they don't deserve to be loved what we need to to master dictates to me i know how difficult that is because i know how difficult i remember namuzi there was a time recently there has been a time where omunyo mundu uh, we are we are down yeah born and amazo ake nine day show and and i felt like who feel good in thing show you wrong yeah born okay so we were clashing even though we were not showing it in the surface but we were clashing underneath and then i felt so bad and in this way i'm guys we see crashed yeah born and then i decided to you know what and again i've been crashed now i couldn't wake up i couldn't rise and like raise myself to a point of being where I normally am, loud, or say I'm, I'm just content. I'm happy. I'm just okay with what my life is right now. I felt to I was being drawn under a man's one moment drown. I felt like I was drowning. I was trying to keep myself floating, but there was this thing that was in my heart. The way I was feeling, Odlomundo was pressing me down. This is a difficult situation for me. But you know what? I felt to I need to come to a place where i make myself understand because maybe this person is also feeling like like me because you could feel there was that clash because isn't this maybe now but now because it's me who's feeling this pain i'm personalizing it i'm making mine and it's tormenting me i'm suffering at the same time yes we see i shouldn't be here and i want to be there but the truth is I was there at the time up until i made up my mind in case when i'm okay i know this person has good intention i know this person so why do i just uh, sit and choose just this one circumstance uh, just choose this one a event uguti it define a, a relationship here to noma ugzwana go to noma or humble it and then i decided you know what i am letting it go and i forgive this person because meaning feel good we are crash okay and then i'm just letting it go because maybe it's not like that it's just me who interpreted who interpreted the situation like that when i did that even though i had the whole day of feeling miserable Okay, but when I did that, I felt I was getting better because I was managing me instead of trying to manage another person. This is what we do as human beings. We live our life uh, instead of mastering our alignment, instead of mastering the relationship that you have ourselves. See, champa still champa la lea part you go to some people manage abanya band, but it goes so logo to the more you want to manage and control other people and you want them to change and you want them to become what you want them to be, you are in for a. A, a, a bumpy road you are going to suffer because not everybody will see things the way you see them not everybody will appreciate life the way you appreciate them langi kona empelunia mingila langi kona i want to master the relationship i have with myself and also the source of my joy and my happiness and then i don't require anybody to make me happy and then i'm able to be happy with my conditions ailing die on even though it's so difficult to get there but the more i tell myself what you know what no one i don't expect you to make me happy i don't expect you to yeah boy now to 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 go all your way out to, to impress me because now i'm not going to do that but i'm going to and make sure or go to whatever that i do i do it because i'm enjoying it it's because i love you Yavon, and everything is built on unconditional love. So I know what when as I'm talking about this, we grasp a lento sometimes abanya by grasp, but abanya by grasp because it seems like it's difficult to so selfish manji weto. No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that uh, I'm teaching myself 
I don't require people to change so that I'm happy mean. And also I uh, I don't require what see mina so that I make them happy. I want to be me and love them unconditionally, loving them and enjoy experience experience yeah minabo without expecting them to change. And doing that because for a long time in our generation, even in our to us as people, we haven't been living like that. It's like Yes, yes, and thank you for now, then I will be happy. Change so that things are happy. If you get shot, that's in charge, you can't go by happy mean. And then don't end it, I am going to go by happy. But I believe what if we can move higher to a place which let us have fun together and let us walk this walk. I don't want to change you. Please don't change me, but let us love one another and see where this road takes us. But it is fun, it's sense. No, my uh, you know what fun will be our attention joy will be our attention if you happen to make a mistake it's fine i'm not going to attach to that because you don't owe me in jabulo i am accountable for in jabulo i'm actually jesus is the source of my joy so even when things things crumble around me then i'm teaching myself but you know what even when things are not going according to my plan but my joy is because it is inside me it's not relying believe me i know it's difficult sometimes when you start teaching yourself that but i'm in a journey mean of going to that place where i know what i've mastered myself and i can name myself as a lover of everyone without judging anyone a in liga jesus christ to amen so keep on you can't control other people why you want to live like that when you want to be in peace in joy and you want to be in in love you can't be obsessed about controlling other people i did mention this long time ago but i will say it again uh, I apologize, no man gets to forgive me when you feel I'm like a broken record that always says the very same thing. You know what? The more I expose you to this truth, the more it will become familiar. Except, after all, you need to receive it pale. But you know what? We need to teach ourselves to be, with, to be at peace with other people's behavior. I'm teaching about boundaries. And as I'm teaching about boundaries, I'm teaching you about how do you put fences around you so that when you are in your house and you are in your jurisdiction, you don't necessarily worry about it. Umuntu hamba mukakoin, uhamba ufaki skindi, no mo hamba kimbile, no mo hamba ule a dance and no me shama kumpoto. You don't care about that. No matlapi motel lula i hamba bang umsindo, no mi hamba ngani, no mi hamba one hundred and twenty. You don't care about that because abagwen zekrigen lako, abagwen zem Green. Yes, somehow it can create that ripple effect. You would see your preferences because you all have preferences. Which, oh, yes, you are noisy, but you don't necessarily come out and then achieve like be trauma tantrums you are aware but you become comfortable in your own zone in your own place knowing good leon is a rule so if we can master that put boundaries in our lives and apply them but at the same time be a piece of what is happening around and then as people and children of god and then we take this responsibility i'm not saying go to as as in the loot because i feel in my spirit it's kono show you see so should see as two legs in the loot that's not what i'm saying but it's ludicrous oklanya ugo to umza lwa nubona galus oklanya uza muklongisa enyindu everyone Usolut now so usanya now so chwe ine lomuto za mugu mkorekta God aksabo naga lungu nungu nungu kongu nungu You see so now what I'm saying is there is a better way A better way is to become that that thing that you want other people to be Become that be an example apply it Ukombi sabandu kutu kienzega and this is what I want to do This is what I prefer in my life and then the next thing 
is ukuthi asikhuleke nike phela ke and then declare ukuthi lo ke sifuna ukubona sibona asikubone emhlabeni that is why i believe ujesu ethe asithesi masithandaza sithi umbuso wakho mawufike intando yakha yenziwe emhlabeni when we begin by that ukuthi umbuso wakho mawufike that we are saying ukuthi inkosi lo kofuna ukuthi kwenzeke la mhlabeni akwenzeke and we are speaking it and we are believing it we see what there is darkness but that is not what we want to concentrate on we don't want to concentrate on darkness and end up talking about the darkness and magnify the darkness because when we concentrate on the darkness and talk about it surely where we put our attention that thing that we put our attention to our energy goes there and then the thing actually grows and actually leon doleo yeah magnify but we magnify what we want to see we speak the light we become the light even if you as the light to become like a dot but let me tell you the truth that dot inside in the midst of darkness yeah monagal go outside the sugu bugi pezul uguti umu bua pezul no matu ngabona one star that star you'll be able to see it because it comes different it stands different from the darkness even if it's like a dot that you can touch with your finger amazingly stars are big they are huge and they are fire you can't touch them but my as a distance it seems as if our team even if it's something that you think you can touch but you can see which layer it different from these huge blankets of darkness so i'm encouraging you mlaleli and i will always do this time and time and time again telling you what i'm in a journey nami i'm walking this journey and but i'm better than what i was before I, as i'm saying this i'm reminded of um uh, who's this oh choice maya as you know what i'm not where i'm supposed to be but i'm definitely not where i used to be i'm in my journey to my destination so when you know that you are in the journey to your destination then make a decision to be excited about the to be excited about the journey having said that as i'm speaking to you i have prepared something that i want to read to you today and then we'll just look at it and there is a lady that wrote a poem Portia nelson she wrote a, a poem and i like this poem when i first heard it it just stayed with my heart and i would love to read it for you it's a life in five short chapters amazingly with these chapters are a, a reflection of what we do as human beings and also life begins at 40. or sometimes you know what you make mistakes as you grow and then master says it's 40 it's like you like oh okay don't get let the bank for no zenza name being fun we bought a link living for no we bought but it thought it's like okay i can put this thing together saying i understand the man but he gave a corner bar bar was a bamba alia which will good lay learn quickly but the majority of people are not like that so let us read this poem it's a chapter one so imagine it's you you are in chapter one you're only beginning the chapter of your life and you say i walk down the street there is a deep hole in the sidewalk and i fall in i am lost i am helpless it's not my fault it takes forever to find a way out isn't it familiar but there are things that we see but anyway but anyway okay it's not my fault and ngoba futhi angazi usikuphunywa kanjani ikilo umgodi lowo so ukuthi it will take time ukuthi ngenze njani ngiphume and when we do those things those uh, innocent mistakes that we do for the first time it will be uh, likely to say it wasn't my fault but listen ukuthi chapter 2 of this poem utin in chapter 2 of my life i walk down the same street it's the same street there is a deep hole on the sidewalk okay I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place, but it isn't my fault. It takes long time to get out. So, lento lengai ngai bona yenzeka ngimini uthola ukuthi 
there are types of shoes that I'm not supposed to buy because my feet are so short and even the toes are so short. So if you think lazy, that's all it is. Is it by color? I'll find what man like Magdalene. On man go lazy, it's that's all in jail. Oh, 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 take any bam la ba pumanje ba lungo zenga zuti. It because in the bengi landel, oh, it's that's all us boy aganjan and forget the comfort and forget to go to less status in us if god must design you and season gang is in this angel we told him just 10 is that and this thing happened for years in my nagil which only would master saying it's called status and it's enjoy but i liked how it looked like but i will keep on forgetting up until i made a vow i will not forget to these are the kinds of shoes that i need to buy not those kinds of shoes but after a long time so it's the same thing we would see and we will find ourselves making the very same mistake even though besides we see if ngiyalapan this is what is going to happen if ngiyalapan or if ngimpendula lomuntu ngiyazi ukuthi kuzobe seqhuze kumetshisi sobe sesixabana i should be keeping quiet but you told ukuthi we ignore that you will pretend as if e warning awuzange uzoyizwe and you do it anyway and then you told ukuthi it takes time we will turn that thing around let's see who chapter three who to team chapter three you see i walk down the same street and there is a deep hole in the sidewalk i see it there i still fall in <laughs> it's amazing okay i said so we have it man because i keep on falling into this sidewalk hole uh, even though i know it's there i saw it but i keep on falling in uh, but my eyes are open i know where i am it is my fault and i get out immediately now in chapter three now there is that a uh, change and a paradigm shift you go to it's no longer to eyes not my fault it's your fault when on gen zeng anjen but man you want to set the accountability yeah so it's important that in everything that you do you take accountability you own the story it's because now i've contributed otherwise i will not find myself i know that one seems difficult because we are so addicted to tennis play when 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 but if you can take accountability for your portion even if it's one percent you'll find what it becomes easier as a human being to come out of a situation or to learn in that situation so now it doesn't take long chapter but it takes a, a little like she's quick to come out because she's no longer blaming anyone justifying herself there is this thing when we justify ourselves and then while you know, we are justifying ourselves we did this because of this and that and that because you were careless now the truth is we need to own it in Jobas and Kazil. Chapter 4, uh, I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. So now, so cool, manje, so mature, so fun, like my events of like one. Then you see, I okay, I don't need to open my mouth and defend myself. La gang is in lose a luto, omangabengi, lana, and gitule. Then I will have saved my life. Then I will save the situation and it will be okay. And then it will be to see how was we bam. Then with chapter five, which I called it a chapter of maturity, we find this person at it. Then in my chapter five of my life, I walk down a different street because I've learned. But it has taken me four chapters. So what what will will need to be done everything is okay everything that you experience in your life uh, i remember we pass over weekend you know what everything that has happened in my life i'm grateful for those things each and every one of them because uh, if they were not supposed to happen in my life they were they wouldn't have happened but because they happened that means they were supposed to happen which take us to the scripture so now uh, in chapter four I would like us to see we in a place where we are quick to learn. We go to mangabenju ubo numkato imbobo at the sidewalk, and you realize we see the imbobo gizowela gion. Okay, instead of trying walking around it, gizowela gion, and let me find another 
road enzo hamba gion i believe ukuthi eh, nibusi segile ngale poem nami it was a life changer it's more about ama habits ukuthi kwesi nisikati i habit ya kega when you don't pay attention but if you can learn to pay attention ukuthi you see i'm doing this thing aya kumuntu atama drugs if you go by drug addict i was listening to this guy i think it's scary and he says nobody goes and eat drugs uh, expecting to be a drug addict most of the people when they go to drugs mostly is peer pressure it's because they want to fit in and uh, your parents are on your case they want you to do things your way their way it's like when we robots and then mostly most of the time teenagers will rebel because nobody wants to have fences put around them yeah but especially our kids they don't want to be fenced and they've proved that time and time and time again and then maso so to lago go tige umuntu nge ngayo uti uyazi zwe kayo pressured and nampa bangan back and no ma bea wronga bangan back just because ufunu kufita in will find uti it's a very very difficult thing to stand against your friend while they are doing is in day wrong to stand out unless you move away and you risk go to uba lose and say you know what i'm taking another path i'm taking another road it becomes difficult because our children they want to fit in and then but i know turn around even though there will be maybe a lot of falling along the way but as long as umuntu enga susi i've made my decision or what i'm turning my life around i remember what there was this guy that was living uh, in pilo you go back my drugs he says you know what when i came out i attended to aa extend nandambama for 15 years Exen nandamba amut I will wake up and then I will go and then attend to AA and then I'll go to work and just throw myself in seven zin because I did not want to be bored because one of the reasons the young ones would think my drugs is because I was bored okay and then it's calling i didn't like school in the funde school in ai irrelevant to me of which that is what we see even today with the lower education system is becoming more and more irrelevant especially analysis cards what i will throw myself m7 in when i come out at the end of the day then i will come out and go to aa not now going to your phone and give that person a support Uzi 15 years down the line i turned myself around and i'm living my best life now so of course see if we can just make a decision it only requires not only requires it requires good one of the things that needs to be done make a commitment and make a decision yes you might fall so many times while you are in that journey but as long as you don't give up on yourself and you keep on encouraging yourself what you are gonna get better and more while you are failing they say there is no failure while you are falling in that process when the show foot you you are your best friend you love yourself and you encourage yourself and when we do that life is going to be easier it's the truth of the spirit especially darkness is growing so fast but at the end of the day when we stand Christ to Jesus and we refuse to be removed from him but when we stand knowing what the work Jesus has done for him then life will be easier than to condemn ourselves and feel bad and we are not worth it when you hold those things in your heart those are the very things that kills you those are the very things that sabotage you but if we can learn to love ourselves then mm, something good is going to happen in billions age there's something here as a saying vala manje eng fisu tingvali ngayo uh, that I would like to share with you, I believe what he is a taller masinyane. Um, 
where is it um okay so if i am corrupt life but what i want to say is if there is something i know what self-love has been seen as arrogant yes i know what arrogance is con but i just want to talk about somebody who's maybe walking through a journey of overcoming some sort of addiction the best thing that you can do for yourself is to fall in love with yourself and to love and be your best friend i know for us as christians we have demonized that and made it look as if it's an evil thing to love yourself but the truth is most of the things as even wrong it's because we don't admire ourselves it's because we don't love ourselves and then comes in and wrong is it and then behave so if you can do yourself a favor no matter no matter how many mistakes you have made in Bilenyako, please love this person appreciate this person the best thing that you can do is to go to the mirror every day in the morning and look beyond these black things, black two dots, and you look inside your soul and see yourself. These days, through the call. This is a living soul. Yeah. So what I would like you to do is to go to your mirror and then look deep down and connect with yourself and appreciate yourself. Don't say words, but say them inside. And then say, even if it feels like you are blasphemy, I mean, you are just brainwashing yourself. It's better to brainwash yourself saying good things at yourself than to tell yourself the truth while you're destroying yourself while you're bashing your wall against the wall but you're telling yourself the truth but you are hurting yourself so as you tell yourself and you encourage yourself but you know what I know you've been through a lot but I, I believe in you I love you top seal you are an amazing thing you are made in God's image you see if I look at you I look at God and you are fearfully and wonderfully made you can even prepare a script that you want to say and you read it and while you're reading it you make sure that you're looking at yourself give yourself some days because i know what we are living in a time where everything should be instant young king do i put myself with problem and then somebody else needs to come out quickly and take me out of those, this problem quickly and if nobody comes and then i'm angry and then again i sabotage myself we need to be it's best three cycles while you're doing this you are not rushing anyway you are the very important thing that you need to rescue once when are by in the right place then everything else seems to come in place too and then you tell yourself those wonderful things that you would like somebody else to tell them to you there's something that uh, uh, dr swane did on sunday he randomly just chose people from the crowd and brought them in the front and he said say something good about yourself and you'll find people will think and find it's like they are searching within but when he says say something about me and then people will say one two three four and he said we need to be familiar with saying how beautiful we are so now i'm giving you that uh, that task go to go and write down how beautiful you are especially like i'm speaking now i feel like i'm speaking to people who are struggling with um, addictions because Yes, you've disappointed yourself you've made promises to yourself that you've sabotaged yourself but one of the things that you can do is to appreciate you and fill this cup with love and once it overflows now those you see there is a change that is happening and also let us learn to do our meditations meditations that are so helpful because in meditation it just doesn't, doesn't just require you to prepare words that you will speak but they are not connected to you they are just lip service you are saying all the correct things that don't have any meaning to you because it's something right finally she sometimes we call it bible because it caught you but we don't even know what it says what it means in our life right now and then we walk saying all these things that are not applicable in because we don't even understand what they mean so yeah but the 
i meditation okay in the phone we show you i made laptop abanda on but man phone was in transfer information to this one i need to sync them together like connectable is up to a air drop it finally very la messy villain a la massing your taper and then any is obviously i was to receive long time ago we needed to use my bluetooth which so i sync it together even though i'm a bluetooth on you had to choose ugu to ban of no luguti um send the information ganja log and that we need to be in sync with ourselves and we meditation that is where we are learning to have a relationship with ourselves so let's do that because it doesn't require you to come with precious words that are going to impress somebody who's sitting next to you who's engaging to a relevant about the bazoo is gonna know the mazo now in us our tand and what handy was he a cop girl at hand out at the same time and what hand was powerful he was well powerful because land to lay is push like tennis ham is your fabricate is into that has nothing to do with us just because we want people to be moved to 10 but in a month in a month then my namanda as one a pollution show afterwards my namanda as one transformation and the manga be transformation in gecko then it means we are the same people who are on drugs who are addicted to this vigorous and movement and slaying the spirit and then after that then as if we naman abraham by wall puzu trial but just because they want to escape the reality of life so let us be serious about changing our life i know it's a journey that we need to commit in because in our table lens but it's fun once you go to the station because we never complete the journey until but there are times where you come to a station and you feel the reward because you know what i'm in a better place and there is a progress of going forward as in the mover if i look back i can make sense because i was there and we born in our mom yoga when you get up we told what's in our mouth safe led to say on i was a boy but once when you get a piece of myself oh god you like little fat me mean and then you understand the intensity of the things that you've been walking through and you appreciate it so learn to appreciate yourself love yourself and as we close we are going to close with our familiar practice that i would like us to adopt even when you feel stressed even when you feel you are a little bit low just go inside a closet go inside a secret place or in a corner and just close your eyes and breathe in even if you don't close your eyes bring over something in the eye for me look at you over the mess and breathe in and out and while you are breathing out make sure that you release all the tension and in again and and right now i want you to breathe through your heart And while you are doing that, fill your heart with love. And fill your heart with joy. And then fill your heart with compassion. And then fill your heart with gratitude. And then this time you can just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And when you say thank you, make sure that you're saying it from within you, from the bottom of your heart. And learn to pay attention what is how was i feeling before i did this exercise and five minutes because but just they just want instant change it doesn't work like that just give yourself five minutes and then weigh yourself again what how am i feeling and if you've done this exercise by five minutes down the line you should feel a relief but sometimes you just need to do this a little bit longer and familiarize yourself and when you do it the first thing in the morning it tends to change your life forever and i am going to have my um, meditations that are there with silly or dream so me uh, so me tv like youtube you can go i've started putting things there and i also have uh, some uh, techniques 
an exercise that you can use is healing the heart especially if you are harboring a lot of pain in your heart and you find yourself it's difficult to go forward you can go tarisile so me tv and then when you check there we will follow lao ma meditation lao i wish you well and i just want to say i love you let us embrace love and embrace you and declare with i am perfectly me you are perfect just the way you are in jesus name see as again i'm trying to take a pastor jesus over the corner a clearly now and about a while they are driving home even no more to home dial but if you want to be young at heart please join pastor shazi lapango three to six uncle uncle and bossy says bong and actor tells on him some of the little nets in nazi from nine to twelve can you name body cattling on the l cool and put on a man that my cool lava from six to nine uncle uncle way to move we love you so much as we are getting out and as a simple magazine gulula on car radio Kulula on Car Radio. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Car Radio. And like our Facebook page, Car Radio Worldwide. And check out our website, www.carradio.co.za. Amen. So as we get out, so just choose one of Mzwandile Zondi's song. And this is Opumangawa Giga Bantabasha Bale Mounds on Carnation Ministries. And this is Obe Sicha Ivage Ulava Batanduk Java. Mwa Mina, loving you so much. Amen. This is Menzi in Zwa. We are coming from Mount Zion. Mount Zion Carnation Ministries. Where supernatural is nature. We are expecting a lot from God. We need your glory. We need your presence, Lord. We need your power. We need your power. You are worthy to be praised. You are alone and holy. We need your mercy. We need your Holy Spirit. You alone are worthy. You alone are holy. We need your favor. We need your grace. Yes. We need your presence, Lord. How can we suffer? Need your presence, Lord. How can we survive? We need your glory. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. You are worthy to be one way. You are love the whole You are love the whole We need your mercy. We need your mercy. We need your Holy Spirit. You are love the world. You are You are love the whole You are love the Holy. We need your favor. We need your favor. We need your grace. We need your favor. Oh Lord. Oh yes. Oh yes. What can we be without you, Lord? What can we be without you, Lord? We need your favor, Lord. Oh, Lord. We need your glory. We need your glory. We need your presence. We need Lord. your presence. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. You are worthy to be one you are alone, I hope you are alone, I hope you are. We need your best.